once again, he's one who started the second half for the Hornets. Six point lead for New Orleans. Blazers will call a timeout right here. And Andre Miller does and he fakes the timeout <laughs> and scores. The Hornets were already to the huddle. Now that, that's a good bet. <laughs> Nate McMillan smiling in front of us yeah. and rolls his eyes and he looks down, but he gives him that oh, yes. freedom yeah. if he feels a situation where an opponent it knows you're going to timeout and relaxes. Why not get an easy bucket? Trailblazers who were headed for the timeout. Look at the Blazer bench. They're coming up on the floor. Nate's heading out. <laughs> Blazers are heading off. You see the Hornets with their backs turned. They're going to the huddle. And Andre Miller, knowing that, <laughs> this slides down the right side and scores. He even angled towards the referee. Never said anything to him. There's enough of this silliness. Somebody's got to take a timeout. It might as well be me. No, Miller fakes the timeout. And they're going to count that on a goaltend. We've seen that before. And it. I know he wants to run the play, and I give it to the young man for doing that, but no one's guarding him right at the top of the key. He can knock that stuff down. Reversed by Bledsoe. Pretty inbounds play of the Sox by seven. Sox trying to make it two straight. That trip. Lewis trying to sneak in it. And he did it. He, he, hit, he hit behind Spolstra. <laughs> he actually hit behind him and came out and got the steal. Hiding behind the coach. And then all of a sudden he runs back on the floor and scores. <laughs> Offense starts to shake some things up as Louisville will have possession of the basketball to kick things off once again. Now Louisville is very, very strong in the third quarter, outscoring teams 329. Wow. And some confusion by yeah, the Blue definitely. Devils defending the wrong end of the floor to begin the third quarter. So the very beginning of this third quarter, Louisville sets up on the opposite end of the floor. The quick dish. And Brianna Jackson cashes in for the easy basket. Some reward if they get 100. I don't know because the fans are really into this ball club. But there's no indication they're going to try to get off a shot. Butler with a takeaway and a loose ball, rather a clear pass to the basket foul may be called. Have you ever seen anything like that? Uh, it, Butler was like congratulating. They were shaking the hands. Yeah. And, and Butler grabbed the ball and like he was just going to pat it or something. He took it away. <laughs> They're going to discuss whether or not this is a clear path to the basket. This is not the most important decision they're going to have to make. No. Now watch this. He just gets it across the timeline and let time expire. And he picks up his dribble. Butler comes over. They start shaking hands. Watch. Shake hands. Say, hey, good going, man. Good going. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> and meantime, he's stealing the basketball. They're breaking down court. <laughs> Again, Ty Lawson letting the clock wind down. I'm surprised Denver's not picking him up. I mean, he can just sit there until uh, Jameer. I mean, that, this is, I don't think I've ever seen this in all my years. I don't believe I have either. No. I mean, it's unbelievable. They just let it all on. What a defensive oh, Slam dunk by Bryant. Rob D. Blake is smiling <laughs> ear to ear. Kobe. Dunk at the other end. They fell asleep. No, they, uh, they, I really think that when the Lakers didn't advance the ball, took it out where they took it out, three quarter court, and then lined up across the free throw line, it confused the defense. They started playing on the underneath side as if they were on their, their defensive end. All of a sudden, Kobe streaks the other way. That was a masterful call by the Lakers as they just get the easiest hoop. You could imagine. That is simply amazing. Phillips will inbound. Anthony trying to get free on some screens. Oh, Phillips bounced it off the back, and he banks it in. Kobe Bryant wasn't looking. He bounced it off and gave him the pass to himself. What a heads-up play from Chauncey Phillips. You have to throw that pass perfectly so it comes back to you. you got to get both feet inbounds. Solid play by Chauncey Phillips. Uh, after the jump ball, Willie Miller... <laughs> 
Got the basketball. Yes. Tapos, eh, moment of confusion yeah, yeah. ito, ah. Uh, so, jump ball ito, mapupunta kay Willie, at sabi ni Willie, teka. Dito ba kami? Ba't walang bumabantay? <laughs> Umalis yung bantay. Ito ba? Okay, ah, dito ba? O, oh, dito. <laughs> Ang nakakatawa. Ayan, ayan. O, oh, uminto, uminto rin yung bantay. Oh. Umalis. O, oh, si Rani Del, sabi, o, oh, sige, umalis. dito Nuna ka sa kabila. <laughs> <laughs> yun na yun na kakatawang parte ron. As point as seven tenths of a second remain on the clock. Enough time and catch a quick shoot. Butters last field goal was at the 606 mark of the quarter. Westbrook at the buzzer got it. That could be a little bit of ignition. Hey, how about that? Westbrook off the back of Rodney Hood recovers. And scores it. He, he didn't even mean to take that shot. This, this tremendous, tremendous focus. I mean, that, that's probably the only way it could happen. And the clock started immediately. Watch the barking dog play. Down by one point with two seconds left. This player gets down on all fours and barks like a dog in an attempt to distract the other team. It works, and his team wins. It's just a shame that we can't use that play again. Here it is in regular motion. 